piece. It's about your engagement. Um, I have given you the next show date, which is going to be September 12th. Um, Nicole Hickel will be your uh, host that day. Um, but it's also yep. about you shopping and yep. uh, having an opportunity to be able to bring these fabulous products at home. So we've talked about the push press and mix uh, chopper that yep. you can certainly order. Yep. Definitely the two pack of the nine inch pie pans. You gotta go cast iron across the board, whether it's your brazier, yeah. your skillet, even your pie pans. I love that nine inch size. For sweet pies, savory pies, I'm about to do a crumble where you don't need any pie crust. You're just putting fruit in a crumble topping. You know, really you can get super creative with it. Again, I like to use it when I'm just roasting a single piece of chicken or fish. You throw it into your oven, it's oven safe up to 500, and it's non-stick. So when I'm gonna show you this really sweet, sticky cobbler, you don't have to worry about the cleanup after the fact. And Marlo, don't forget that six-piece peeler set, which I really love. Yes. I didn't show you that application as well. It comes with a peeler, just a handheld peeler, which is great as well. Now, let's talk fruit cobbler. We're not gonna talk about pie, we're gonna talk about cobbler, which is like my favorite fall dessert as we head into fall. A great way to save some money, and I know food costs are really skyrocketing out of control, you can cut the cost of all the fruit by cutting it 50-50. So I'm gonna go 50% of canned peaches mm. with my fresh strawberries, just to kind of stretch my buck a little bit, sure. okay? I just wanna find those little incremental ways to save a little bit of money. So I've got the canned peaches, Kitchen HQ, we thought everything. The first item By the ever way, delicious, sold. Chef. Is that good, right? It's amazing. It's so pecorino. <laughs> How's that nutty pecorino, amazing. right? Amazing. <laughs> The first item ever sold on Kitchen H on, on HSN was a can opener, an old school can opener. I'm sure you have one in your drawer right now that's rusty and really hard to, to kind of get around. At Kitchen HQ, we designed a one touch can opener. You saw me press the button once, Marlo, and it goes around the can, not inside. When a can opener, like old school ones, get inside, that's how they get rusty. So we designed one that goes right around the lip and will never get inside. And look, there's a magnet mm, that takes the lid right off. So I'm not fighting with it. There's no sharp edges. There's no sharp thing to rip off. One touch, all you do, press the button, it goes around the 